That's the weir. And that's the bridge. It used to have uh, nine arches. Um, but now, now it's only got six. And that one with the green turrets on the top of it is the, uh, the Justice Building. There's some nice rope design on the front of it. You can see the, see the coach and the horses over there. And then just up there is Bank Street, which is uh, where the cafe, Robbie Burns Cafe is. And that's where Robert Burns used to live, at the top of there. Lived there for two years um, while he was an excise man. i give you all the information on the river life as well here. Okay, so this is the old bridge. It's uh, obviously a house and it was built in the 1660s and it's the oldest house in Dumfries. And you can go in there for free and have a look around. It's pretty neat, it's a beautiful building. Okay, so it's open from April to September. Okay, so we're gonna have a look inside the old bridge house. This is the kitchen. through here. I'm going to go to the dentistry now. <laughs> Place I hate most. <laughs> All right, so this is the dentistry room. Dentists are not my idea of heaven, I'm afraid. In the, in the past, false teeth would have been made of materials such as ivory or porcelain. Oh. That dentist chair. That makes you scared of going to the dentist, wouldn't it? Pedal down there. Dr. Herbert Dykes Dental Surgery. This is the scullery. Or the washroom. There's another cooking area as well. Or a fireplace anyway. bedroom. That clothing, little miniature clothing. Oh, bedpan. Very nice. And this is the school room. This is the view on the bridge. Looking at the other bridge over there, some beautiful buildings here. Obviously the church is there in the background. Very pretty. I'll just go over here and have a look. Really nice, beautiful. There's the River Neath. And uh, that's where we've just been, which is the bridge house. Okay, so this is the building that um, Robert Burns came to after moving from Ellisland Farm when he came to Dumfries. He lived here for two years. There's a nice little plaque at the top there. It's turned, be turned into Burns Cafe, but it'd be in above there that he would have lived. And it's got a lovely little plaque at the top explaining to you about all the different songs he wrote. He wrote over 60 songs here. And then as he got elevated um, through the ranks of being an excise man, he moved to the Burns House, which is on Burns Street, uh, which is also near his mausoleum. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can go in there and have a coffee. They've got lots of pictures on the wall and that sort of thing. And then the Neath River is just basically there. Um, so a lot of the things in town for Robert Burns and also the historical events are very easy walking distance from each other. It probably takes you around about two hours to go around and see most of the sites. So yeah, really interesting. While Robert Burns was in Dumfries, he was an excise man and he used to get paid £50 a year. And then he also used to get paid £50 for each smuggler that he, a smuggling boat that he found. And he also get half of the booty from the boat as well. Not a bad deal. Um, he also got promoted and once he got promoted, he was able to buy his lovely house on Burns Street, which is a lot bigger um, 
than you know living here in this flat it would have been a flat in those days um, so yeah really nice this is the hole in the wall um, which is one of Robbie Burns regular haunts and it goes through to what used to be the medieval part of town and it's also a great place to eat this is the hole of the wall pub and they've just done a mural on the wall there to show you that was what the street would have looked like from the pub going out and seeing the church. It's closed at the moment. We went to the Globe and this is the other one he used to go to which is the hole in the wall also on the main street. There's some nice paintings here showing him getting on a horse <laughs> after his drinking sessions. There it is, the hole in the wall. And then down here, you can see the Robbie Burns statue. Just there. And there's the church that you'd have seen from that alleyway. It's blocked off now. And this is the main high street. A lovely clock up there. Yeah, so lots of information on Robbie Burns and doing the walking trail. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Going past the River Neath. Very good. This is the middle steeple right in the centre of the High Street. It was erected in 1707 and it used to be the county officers council and also it was a jail. This is the house of Will and Anderson. Now this is where um, J.M. Barry and Anderson used to play and this is the birthplace really of the um, Peter Pan stories. This is where Barry got his inf uh, inspiration from but it's all under construction at the moment because they're going to make it into a children's trust which I think is very, very, very apt. But apparently there's a beautiful garden behind there where they used to play and that's where the inspiration came from. There's a mural in the centre of Peter Pan and over here you've got your pirates. This is the Coach and Horses Inn. It's just opposite the River Neath. Um, it's called the Coach and Horses because in the day of the, the drays, they used to come here with their coaches and the horses, and the horses used to get fed and watered. And there's also a place where Robert Burns used to come, and he wrote the ballad here um, of Marlon Meg, which apparently is, um, the, her real name was Margaret Hogg. And on the first floor, which is up there, uh, it was deemed to be a brothel um, and that was the ballad he wrote about Marlon Meg and um, yeah, it was very very popular in the days of the Docklands the Docklands would have, water would have come quite close to the door and it's just around the corner from the River Neath or just opposite the River Neath and the River Neath is just over here it's very dark um, but that's the River Neath so yeah this is where all the boats and the ships used to come through and uh, obviously Robert Burns was here as a tax and excise man and um, he'd have been making sure that there was enough taxes on all the shipping goods and everything coming through here. It's a very, very popular, um, a really, really nice place to come is the Coach and Horses, one of the nice pubs. It's got that really kind of like antiquated feel to it. So yeah, definitely worth coming here. And they've got lots of live music on at different parts of the year. Um, they do tribute bands and that sort of thing, so yeah, definitely worth checking out when you're here, just to check to see what they've got on. This is the Globe. This is where Robert Burns used to come and have a drink after being at work. At 8 o'clock he used to come here and recite poetry to we have a wee drum.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.